In this video, we'll take you through the basic navigation functions in IQ, as well as a brief overview of each core application in the software. First, let's start with the home screen. The home screen is the first screen you'll see when you log into IQ for the first time. The home screen can be customized based on your preferences and priorities. Click in the upper left hand corner of any tile to drag it to a different location or click the gear in the upper right corner to adjust its size or color or to hide it from view. To add a tile that's not currently displayed, click the gear in the upper left corner of the screen and select. In the upper right corner of the page, you'll find your shortcuts menu. Click to open a drop-down menu that includes help files, alerts, the latest updates in IQ, and more. The clock face icon is your IQ history. Click here to view the last 1000 searches or records you've opened. To the right of the shortcuts menu, you'll see your first name. Click to open a drop-down menu that includes options like logging out of IQ, changing your password, setting act as permissions, and your preferences, which allow you to customize settings based on how you use IQ. On the right side of your screen, you'll notice the IQ stream. Stream is a combined look at your office's Twitter feed, plus incoming comments from your other social media channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Flickr. Incoming advocacy campaign email also appears in the stream. Tweets and comments in your stream can quickly be imported and saved in IQ. Just like any other tile on the home page, you can choose to hide the stream if you prefer. Now, let's take a look at the applications that make up the core functionality in IQ. The Contacts application maintains a complete list of your contact records and allows you to work with individual records, create lists for outbound mail, build telephone town hall audiences, and more. The Messages application shows you all incoming correspondence that is not related to caseworker services. This includes inbound social media activity and advocacy campaigns. In Messages, you can analyze, process, and respond to all your open correspondence individually or in groups using batches. The Outreach application gives you the flexibility to build custom e-newsletters, e-surveys, and encrypted web forms, as well as outgoing printed mailings. Once your outgoing content has been sent, Outreach performs detailed analysis that allows you to track survey responses, open rates, click-throughs, and more. In the Services application, you'll find all records pertaining to service requests or business processes. For example, flag and tour requests for congressional offices, document approval and FOIA processing for federal agencies, or board application processes for state and local governments. Services is the most flexible application in IQ and can be configured for virtually any repeatable business process your office performs. The library is a document storage center where you can save all of your form letters, images, audio files from speeches, press clippings, and other office documents. Keep in mind that IQ allows you to apply security settings to any document in the library in order to restrict access to certain documents and maintain version control. The events application provides a universal calendar for all your office's events. In addition to managing scheduling, Events integrates with Microsoft Outlook and can also be used to track, analyze, and report on meeting attendees, meeting topic, location, and more. Legistats is a powerful tracking application that provides interactive, integrated insights into constituent demographic data, member voting histories, legislative actions, and more. Finally, the Admin tab is visible only to system administrators and provides quick and easy access to key functionality like adding new users, managing IMA rules, and background jobs. 